some Welsh and Duolingo. I've got a 260 odd day streak. Anyway, today is a great day because we're going on a road trip. Me and Kelsey and her boyfriend Ace, who's driving us there. We are going to Ultraflex in North Leeds. So this is a newer Ultraflex. I don't know if I filmed. Yes, I filmed in Ultraflex, Ultraflex Rotherham before, I think. But these are incredible gyms. They are built for bodybuilders and everyone else. But they are incredible. They are huge. You feel like you're in like an American gym or a gym in Dubai. There's loads of equipment. There's going to be a posing area. It's all kitted out and it's basically like we are going on a night out is the equivalent of what it feels like today. So you've actually joined me on day two, it's 11th of June and I'm on a second day of a refeed so I'm having two higher carb days. It's my first refeed of prep, basically we use refeeds when we are starting to plateau or when we need a bit of extra energy. And we're looking a little bit flat, but we don't really utilizing them too often. I've dropped weight quite a lot over the past couple of weeks. I've come down really nicely. I'm actually ahead of the game in terms of like where I'm shooting for. So I want to see how my body responds to a couple of high carb days. So I had one day yesterday, my weight actually maintained. So I'm now sitting at 60.9 kg. It's dropped from last week as well. Normally my body responds really well to high carb days. As did last prep, my weight would always drop afterwards quite significantly. So sometimes when we're doing a diet, we think lower calories is better and we just want to run ourselves into the ground. But you need to add in refeeds on occasions, diet breaks, things like that. You can plan in these things to help you progress forwards, not run into the situation where your body adapts to the lower calories and then you have to just keep dropping calories lower and lower and lower. So there's lots of reasons why we do a refeed. So it's been, I've been feeling full of energy this weekend, which is great. As always, I keep my refeeds very clean. It's pretty much keeping within the same foods that I'm already eating. I do have some squares bars today, but essentially I have rice in my diet anyway. Nothing crazy, no burger and fries here today. Just a bit of extra carb. What I do is I bring my protein and my fats down, put my carbs up. So my macros for this weekend are 300 grams of carbs, 38 grams of fat, and 125 grams of protein. On about 2,000 calories just over, which is around 250 calories more than what I normally have. So overall, it's not actually that much more food. You're just gonna feel full of energy, but it does tend to sort of add a bit of fuel to the fire and you do feel quite hungry after a refeed. So there's pros and cons, but today's a great day. I'm gonna have lots of energy for a big leg session with Kelsey. So we're gonna do a road trip, we're gonna do refeeds. It's all gonna be great. So I'm having my first meal now, which I will show you. As you can tell, I'm excited. And also the sun's out. It's been sunny here for like a month and it just doesn't happen. So it's gonna be about 30 degrees, I think today. It's gonna be very hot. I'm actually feeling quite a nice temperature because as I get leaner, I always feel cold. Don't mind getting a bit of a sweat on today. Yay! First meal is 50 grams of buckwheat, 10 grams of peanut butter, 100 grams of berries, and half a scoop of MRE protein. So I've also got my spices and of course some salt. So it's going to be extra important as we're going to be sweating in this heat. I'm going to eat this. This is going to be the same as my last meal as well. Are you excited? Are you for a walk? Yeah? Yeah? Are you going for a walk? Are you going to get some steps in? Oh, you like the sunshine. He's sunbathing with us all day yesterday. I literally cannot believe how nice it is. Oh, the stuff of dreams. Right, it is quarter to 10. I'm gonna leave in about 15 minutes. I'm just sorting my things that I'm gonna take with me. So my next meal looks very boring. We've got 70 grams of chicken with 150 grams of rice. I'm gonna put a bit of salt on this, but really any veggies in there. I'm gonna eat this in the car, so it's a little bit tricky to do that. Then I've got ooh, get these. a couple of squares bars that I'll have in addition to this is my pre-workout meal. It all looks very ricey and very boring. And then I've got 70 grams of Rice Krispies. So this is MRA protein, so a little bit here, about 15 grams, just to make it into a little bit of a milk. And then got my water intake for today. I'll probably drink even more than this to be honest because it is hot. And then I'm gonna give K 
Kelsey, my old waist trainer. This one does get too big for me by the end. It's still, I'm still fitting it in a minute, but moving on to the even smaller one. I'm gonna make an iced coffee as well to take with me. We'll get on the road. All packed and ready to go. Mm. Oh, iced coffee, incredible. Get one of these metal straws. They make it 10 times better, especially if you are going to Costa and they give you like a paper straw, it just goes, Bleh. let's do this. Oh, it's an infrared one. Damn it, I wish I lived near here. And look at that for your post show selfies. Oh, so good. I don't wanna keep on second guessing. Cause guessing is useless. Keep on second guessing. Cause guessing is useless.
closing, but we did do some, so. <laughs> Where? Oh, he's already done. Where are we going? Oh, we get one with all three of us while we've got our man here for you. Yeah, Review then, Kel. Like what do you think? I would definitely come back. Do you know what? I would come here every day if it wasn't so far. It would be quite far. I just don't want to have to drive over an hour, and that was even an hour without traffic, so it would be a lot worse than traffic. Please put an ultraflex in the northwest. Please open a Manchester, a Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool's got gin for me. Yeah, we're here for I even travelled to Liverpool most days, but again, the traffic is quite early. Well, Great right, time to eat. Yeah, well, or over over oh, time to oh, eat. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Time. <laughs> How long have we been in there? I think we got here oh, like it's like quarter to one. Yeah, it's half three. Oh, nice. We've done a lot. We've done posing. We've done a hell of a lot of burnout set. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, it is Monday the 12th of June and I forgot to film the rest of my meals yesterday but they were pretty boring, it was just 200 grams of sweet potato, one had chicken with it, one had mince with it and then my last meal. So I was absolutely knackered, I actually had to go and do cardio after that session yesterday so I went and met Andy at his gym CrossFit Witness, just did 30 minutes but it was pretty intense because normally I do stairs and my legs were absolutely battered from training legs so I did like a little little circuit between the bike, the rower and the ski erg and absolutely died uh, and then had to come back and do some more steps because I still hadn't somehow managed to get them all in but there we go two days high carb days and we have had a drop in weight so lowest weight check-in lowest check-in lowest weigh in yet <laughs> at 60.6 kg so i actually dropped 0.3 pounds over the two days um, my weight maintained yesterday and then i did my measurements on friday so i've got those to compare to so i came down half a centimeter on my arm my chest stayed the same I was down half a centimetre on my waist, half a centimetre on my hips. I went up on the glutes, which is what we wanted, obviously filling the muscles out, we wanted to tighten up. So I'm very happy with my current ratio for 63.5 centimetre, centimetres on the waist, 96 centimetres on the glutes. 25 inches on the waist, 37.7 inches on the glutes, so very happy with those ratios. So this is the tightest I've ever looked, I can feel in my waist, it is definitely coming tighter. All the measurements are in the right, moving in the right direction. So very, very happy with that. So I'll pop that in now so you can see what I'm looking at at the moment. Body just likes to train hard, it looks the best 
when I'm doing that. So I'm learning a lot this year. I'm gonna put this into practice into peak week. I have looked at lots of different protocols and I'm, at the moment, I am going to kind of go from Paul Revea from Team Pro Physique. He does linear loading, gets his athletes to train hard to have a bit of downtime before actual peak week. And as a natural athlete, I think this is gonna work well because that's the problem I have. I need to fill out, I need to be, you know, able to compete with people that are assisted and so I've got to think about it really properly. I was in need of a refeed, I didn't just give myself some more carbs for the sake of it. I actually felt probably worse yesterday than I did the week before from having those higher higher carbs. I kind of felt like because I had my fat flow, my protein lower, I was hungrier. Um, I felt a low dip in energy as well after I'd obviously had high carbs and then when I trained cardio and I just absolutely died in the evening. It was very, very hot this weekend as well. So that will have a hard part to play. But we had a very fun session. Do things that you can still do on prep. Socialize in a way that you can socialize. And for me, that is going to the gym with my friends. Seeing Kelsey in a couple of weeks time, she's gonna to go to come down to connect therapy. I'm gonna show her some mobility stuff and some hockey balling and how to sort of rehab and do that kind of thing. So that week will be, I'll be showing you video in that. It's really, really important for bikini, for your posing, to make sure that you're able to move your muscles properly. And as bodybuilders, we are really rubbish at stretching and mobility work. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for all future videos in this series. We've got lots more exciting hacks and trips. I can't speak this morning. Hacks and tips for you coming up. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one.